Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When adding text to a publication, it's quite common to accidentally type incorrectly. You may swap the I and E in certain words or forget a second R, for example. One of the most common mistakes is the word the being spelled T-E-H. The autocorrect feature recognizes some of these misspelled words and automatically corrects them for you. The best part of autocorrect is that it's automatically enabled when you use Publisher. Another handy feature of autocorrect is that you can actually add your own word that you commonly misspell. To see the autocorrect options, select the File tab in the ribbon, and then click the Options Command button in the left side of the Backstage view. In the Publisher Options dialog box that appears, click the Proofing category at the left side of the dialog box. You can then click the Autocorrect Options button that appears to the right in order to open the Autocorrect dialog box. In this dialog box, you can check any options you want to enable. Useful options include checking the Correct to Initial Capitals checkbox to automatically correct mistakes when you accidentally hold the Shift key down too long. You can check the Capitalize First Letter of Sentence checkbox to automatically correct mistakes when you forget to capitalize the first letter of a sentence. You can also check the Capitalize First Letter of Table Cells checkbox to automatically correct capitalization mistakes in table cells. You can check the Capitalize Names of Days checkbox to automatically correct mistakes when you forget to capitalize names of days. And you can check the Correct Accidental Use of Caps Locks key to automatically correct mistakes when you accidentally leave the Caps Lock key on when typing. If there are certain words or chains of letters that you do not want Publisher to automatically fix, you can add them to the Exceptions section. To do this, click the Exceptions button, located right here. And here, on the first letter tab, the first one that's exposed, you can add abbreviations after which you do not want Publisher to capitalize the first letter of the following word. Normally, a period followed by a space lets Publisher know the sentence is finished. This causes the first letter of the next word to be capitalized by the autocorrect feature. On the initial capitals tab, right here, you can add words you do not want Publisher to change when you type them with more than one capital letter. For example, if your company name was I am perfect, as in I am perfect, as opposed to imperfect, you could add I am capitalized perfect to the list of spellings to not be corrected. So you could type in I am perfect like that. You can also add words you simply do not want Publisher to correct on the Other Corrections tab, located right here. For example, if your last name was Freend, F-R-E-I-N-D, you could add that to the list so that Publisher did not change the spelling to Friend. And then, once you do that, you just click Add, like that. To add a word of your own that you commonly misspell, simply type your word the way you misspell it in the Replace field and the correct spelling in the With field. Once you've done this, you click the Add button. If there are more words you want to add, you can add them now or just click OK to finish. The Auto Format As You Type tab of the AutoCorrect dialog box, right here allows you to change other autocorrect features dealing with quotes, hyphens, and lists. And you just check whichever ones you would like enabled. And then when you're done, you just click OK. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.